Today you will see Atomic NFT swaps on a system built on the Ethereum Data Service, or EDS. We start with an EDS contract, and one of the default sets in the EDS contract is EDS contracts which maintains references to linked contracts assigning them an EDS ID. If we go to this set, we can see three NFT contracts. NFT1, NFT2, and NFT3. Anyone can register NFT contracts into the system. And now we can atomically swap multiple NFTs from any of these NFT contracts. And this is done through the Open Bottles app interface. For each NFT contract, we can see our own NFTs in the left side and all the minted NFTs on the right. If we see something we like, we click on Seek. What this does is filter the NFTs by the NFT owner's address. So what we want to do is make an atomic swap proposal to another user. In this case, the user with this Ethereum address starting with 90F. And we are offering our Dorothy NFT, which we'll see here on the right side, because this is the NFT that will be transferred to the other user. And we will want Jim in exchange for Dorothy. But let's see what this user has on NFT to contract. And it seems that the user has a lot of other NFTs. So we will also want Blackie. We are exchanging Dorothy for Jim and Blackie. So we can offer one or more of our NFTs in exchange to one or more of their NFTs. And we can include in the same proposal NFTs from different contracts. Now we make the proposal and we can see exactly what we are proposing. NFT ID 3 from the first contract in exchange for NFT ID 4 from the first contract and NFT ID 11 from the second contract. We sign it and this proposal is saved on IPFS. with the signature that we made earlier. Now we make a transaction for assigning a time limit in blocks for this proposal. This transaction also makes a log of the other user's address and the proposal URI, so the other user can get notified that he has received a proposal. Now let's change our user from Alice, which has made the proposal, to Charlie, which will receive the proposal, and refresh the page. When Charlie sees this page, he will see that a new proposal is waiting for him. So we will click on it and load it. Charlie sees that somebody offered him a Dorothy NFT in exchange for his Jim and Blackie NFTs. So the DAP loads the proposal data and Alice's signature from IPFS. And now what Charlie needs to do, if he wants to accept, he needs to sign this data for the swap to be valid. He is signing the same proposal that Alice has signed initially, plus Alice's signature. We sign this and then make the final swap transaction. And we can see here the transaction receipt with some logs. And already the interface shows us that Charlie now has Dorothy and Alice has Jim. Let's go again to Alice.
and we see that Alice has Jim and for NFT2 it also has Blackie. You have watched the first user-facing Ethereum data service application on a testnet. It uses any number of ERC721 contracts, a popular NFT standard, and users can browse their NFTs, they can mint other NFTs, they can make swap proposals, and they can accept swaps between any number of NFT contracts. And swaps can only be done between two owners. And of course, this system has all the other advantages of the EDS system as presented in previous videos.